Hey guys, what is up? Some Scott 20 here. Oh, Lucas bringing you guys another NHL 17 Hockey Ultimate Team video. That is right. So, we are back at it again in Hut. Just want to show you guys the team very quickly. I did update it. Uh, I ended up doing the Trevor Linden Hero set and I ended up buying Jeremy Roenick to place Cam Neely. And uh, I also did upgrade Joe Pavelski to Jonathan Taze. And I moved Pat LaFontaine down to the third line role. Uh, but other than that, the team looks the same. We got Rob Blake, Doug Wilson, and uh, yeah, let's go get a win. All right, so we're going up against Dolar Robinette. Dolar Robinette. I don't really know. A Blues fan. Look at my beautiful Hershey Bears jerseys. Let's get into it. Oh, shit. Flying poke check. <sighs> Not a great way to start off the video, even though there's like eight minutes left in the first. But still. Oh, PK. What? I don't know why I didn't shoot that. Gabber. Oh, with the backhand. Jeez, there we go. Marion Gabrick puts us back in the game with 3.4 seconds left. Oh, boy. <sighs> I am so bad at this game, man. Dylan Larkin puts him up by one. Nothing I can say or really do. Trevor Linden drives the net. Oh, my goodness. Right back in it. Tied it to... Trevor Linden is pretty goddamn good. If you guys haven't seen his stats, whew. Oh, Rod Brindamore is just going to get another one. There we go. Two back-to-back. -back. Call me Drake. Up by one now. Those were two quick goals. Whew. Even at uh, even on the wing, Brindamore is amazing. And that's honestly one issue I'm see I'm having with my like building my team this year is that I want to have the most synergies activated. And the ones I have activated right now, I really like. But, if I want to change my team, it means I have to find a player that has the same synergy as the player I'm replacing, and different stuff like that. So it's way harder than last year, for sure. Alright, though. Let's talk about the World Cup of Hockey, because Twitter has been a buzz lately. Uh, especially last night, the Team USA, Team Canada game. I, I mean, I don't know what people expected. I don't think any American fan uh, expected us to win. Uh, but we got a lot of hate for it on Twitter. And I mean, I never expected the U.S. to win. I mean, we're... Frankly, obviously, everyone knew going in that our team was not the best it could be. And especially with Torts as coach, you never really know. Uh, but that was definitely not our best performance internationally. But I gotta say, the best part of the night was by far the player... Oh, there we go. He just got tripped. Phil Kessel's tweet. Oh, my God. If you guys didn't see it, here it is. And I don't think I've ever seen a funnier tweet from an NHL player, especially from such a, like quiet guy like Phil Kessel. It is, oh my god, it, oh, so good. Oh god, no. No, Ronnie Hextall, what a beast. Oh, please, Ron. Ron, Ron! Oh my goodness, pass it out. Fuck it, yeah, there we go. Let's run up on him. Oh my god, Jonathan Taze on the breakaway. Oh, the flower. Holy crap, man. One thing I saw a lot of, like, halfway through the game when it was already 4-1, I already knew the game was over. I started tweeting out like, oh my god, I'm proud to be a North American. And it was like, oh my god, you're so salty. Which I don't get. I'm a North American. And we get a goal from Rod Brindamore, who's also a North American. And I mean, in all honesty, who doesn't want to see Team North America do well? Did I want Team USA to do well? Of course I did. I mean, I, I always want Team USA to win hockey. I mean, it, it's nice to beat the Canadians. I'll, I'll say that much. And when we lose, it, it kind of hurts. But I, I normally am expecting to lose. But with Team North America, it just... It's just a different feeling. I mean, it's a young players. I mean, they're both Canadian and American. It just feels good to root for a team together. As the World Cup of Hockey is coming to a close here very shortly, I mean, the Team USA is obviously already eliminated. So what I'm really hoping for at this point, I'm excited to watch as a neutral fan, by the way. What I'm really hoping for at this point is that either Team Europe or Team North America makes a nice run to the finals. And uh, at least I can see one of them in there. Oh, here we go. Doug Wilson, do something crazy, buddy. Or not. Trevor Linden will. Oh, my goodness. Trevor Linden is a beast, man. He is so freaking good. And if I'm being honest with myself, the one reason I'm upset with Team USA losing this early on, they get no international play of the game cards. Like, that blows. Oh, Pat LaFontaine. I'm the, I'm the shorty. Pat LaFontaine. Shorty. Oh, no. It's not your birthday. We can't party like it's your birthday. Oh, shit. Ron Hextall. He's the man, man. There we go. Kessel. Let's get Kessel a goal. Never mind. Let's get Shea Weber a goal. Drive the net. Oh, he almost had it too. All right. 16 seconds left. Let's just see if we can get a nice uh, 
Let's try the push play. See if I can actually get it. Amante. Oh, there we go. That was a tight angle, but Tony Amante got it. And we're going to end up winning this game 6-2. to two. Good win. Good, good game. Good talk. All right, guys. So we do end up getting the win. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, let me know how the quality was. I did have to change up my recording uh, kind of setup. So let me know how the quality was. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys want more gameplay commentaries, let me know down below. Let me know down below who you guys have winning the World Cup of Hockey 2. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, let me know. Talk to you guys later. Goodbye.